is Photoscape X still worth being used today? It's not getting updates. It's falling further behind because there's new AI features and all sorts of great things that are coming out for Lightroom, Photoshop, and other softwares. Is Photoscape X still worth using today? The answer for me is actually yes. Photoscape X has two amazing things going for it. One, it is feature rich. There is so much you can do with Photoscape X, with editing, with cropping, with being able to design items, be able to put text on things, be able to do a lot. And I've made tons of tutorials and explainer videos on how you can use Photoscape X to do those things. Now, even though it doesn't have some of those AI features, it still is very feature rich for what it can do on a lot of different machines. It's available on PC and Mac, and it's a very lightweight piece of software. So even if you have a very inexpensive computer, like an inexpensive laptop, or like if you're at work and it's an inexpensive computer, most of the time you can still run Photoscape X totally fine. Where if you were to put like a Lightroom or Photoshop on a weaker computer, most of the times that computer is just gonna fall apart. It's not gonna be able to run it. It's gonna crash when you give it any kind of big projects to do. Photoscape X is great. And remember, it's a tool. It's not just gonna make a trashy photo look amazing. What it's most likely going to do for you is say, hey, I've got this great photo, or I have this great design, or I wanna put this together to make something great. If you start with great photos and you start with some great design ideas and you put them together, Photoscape X can make it happen. So I still encourage people to use it even to this day. And it's awesome because since I've learned this, I've been able to help so many people who are just getting started and say, hey, if you have the money, definitely go get Photoshop or Lightroom. But if you're just getting started, start with something like Photoscape X. Learn the basics, learn how to use it. And for me, I've learned it so well that even though I have Photoshop and Lightroom, I pay that subscription, Oftentimes I still don't really jump in and use it very often because I know I can get the quick and simple edits done very quickly in Photoscape X regardless of on, if I'm on my main computer at home, if I'm on my laptop on the go, or if I'm at like my work computer at my work and I'm saying, hey, Photoscape X runs perfect on all three. I'm gonna use this a lot because it's so versatile, it's so feature rich. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or anything you'd like to learn in Photoscape X. Like this video if it was helpful and have a wonderful rest of your day.